Am I getting to that age where I don't know why I got bruised? The <laughs> bruises are just showing up and I don't know where they came from. What did I bump into? You're getting like me. You always look at me like, where did you get that cut from? I have no idea. I have no idea. I didn't even feel myself get cut. Ninjas. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time Joe enforces the rule about gifts, you'll be alerted to it. That's right. There is a rule in this house. When you get a new present, we've had this since the kids were little, when you get a new present, you can play with it by yourself for the first day. And you don't have to share it at all. No, but after that... I'm sharing. sorry, it is too hard to get three kids to never touch each other's things. It's you know, impossible. You know what they learned out of that? They learned, I want my gift first thing in the morning. Because if you opened up your gift at 9 o'clock at night, right. the next morning is a new day. Right. It wasn't a 24-hour rule. It was the first day. Yeah, we, were, we had the kids that were legitimately looking for pajamas on December 24th when you could only open one gift. Right. They didn't want it to be their super favorite gift. Well, we also did used to actually hand them the box that we knew was pajamas. Yeah, but they wanted the full day. They wanted the 24 hours. So Christmas is over. So we're halfway through the holidays. We have one more holiday, New Year's Eve, which, yeah. you know, I, I know it's not Christmas, but a lot of people do like to binge and stuff on New Year's Eve. Yeah. Going the next day, I've got this. I'm going to get back on the track. So we're going to continue for this last week, and hopefully this vlog will be out before New Year's Eve. I know we're behind on vlogs. We've got two left, but I'm, I'm trying to get these up quickly so because we're going to do a lot of vlogging come January. Right, right, of course. I honestly think that this coming week is the most difficult week to stay on plan mm -hmm. because to a certain extent, you want to look half decent on Christmas. Right. Right? So maybe you've been good up until Christmas, and Christmas, once December 26th, the, the house is sort of torn up because, right. you know, you've, you've got all the gifts and the wrapping paper and you're throwing out the trash and you're like, oh, I'm just going to finish off all of the leftovers. Right. And it, this is a dangerous week because you're thinking, well, I'm going to be good January 1st. Yep. But I don't want to be bad December 26th week. So we're going to keep this last week of 2021 of ho, ho, ho. Just stay keto. Now let's talk a little bit about Christmas. We do have keto on the couch in a little while, but I wanted to talk, we did not vlog on Christmas Eve and Christmas. We decided we really wanted to focus on the family. Yeah. And it was interesting because Rachel did such an amazing job at curating like all of the kids' favorite things. What are their favorite snacks and their favorite sodas and, and what is their favorite pie? And, you know, remembering back to when they were younger, because we now have three older children and a daughter-in-law. Right. And we were like, she wanted to remember back to what were their favorite foods, like macaroni and cheese. And we laid all this stuff out. And you know what? It taught, at least me, yeah. a very valuable lesson and something to think about for next year. And that is... Christmas isn't about the food. No. Right? Christmas is about the family. It's about getting together. It's about enjoying each other's company. Because guess what? The food didn't get touched. It really got uneaten because everybody was so excited about getting together. And as everyone gets older, it gets more challenging mm -hmm. because now you don't have the family schedule dictated by mom and dad deciding right. like we're vacationing today. We're taking a day off today. Today is lasagna night or whatever. Right. You know, you've got three different 
families basically going in each direction. They're all adults now. So yeah, none of them were concerned with the food. And right. so I thought that I was being like more helpful, making sure that, you know, oh, you're stuck with keto parents. 364 days a year and you will really appreciate that you have fun loving parents this one day a year that's going to provide all of this you know non-keto food and that's what you're really gonna love you know what they ate brisket yep keto lasagna but even that rachel had all of this stuff they touched it but not really like right. there, there was like Lots of macaroni and cheese went uneaten. I mean, and I know this is a keto channel, but we weren't eating it. We were no. providing it for them because we're like, listen, the rest of the year, we don't make this stuff. If you want it, you either have to make it yourself or you have to go out and buy it. So we felt like for Christmas, the family together, we're going to give them all their favorite things. They, they didn't eat the cookies that you got for them and they didn't eat the macaroni and cheese. I made two meat layer lasagnas. One I figured I was going to put in the freezer because, you know... You're pulling it all out. You got to mix all the ricotta cheese and all that stuff. Link for the meat layer lasagna is over Rachel's head. So I made two of them figuring we could eat one this week. So right. I stuck that one in the freezer. The other one, maybe half of it. And you're talking about, you know, four adult children and your mom and you and I. Maybe half of it went. We've been eating it for the last two days since Christmas. Then I made a brisket. Maybe, maybe... A third of the brisket went and that was like basically all of the main meal like everybody really just focused on being chatting. together and chatting Playing and having a good time and the dogs were hysterical it was a play date for sure yeah that we all got to behold tabitha and jenny had such a good time together and it's neat that um they're both water loving dogs i think that made a huge difference i mean yeah. Um, we didn't have Boaz here because we were afraid that as like having a little dog, like he would be overrun. We weren't sure how everyone would play together. And, um, and it was worked fine because we live only a couple of houses away from my mom. So she was able to go back and forth a lot, but, and he hates the water. He does yeah. not like getting wet at right. all. And so he would have not appreciated this play date where they were just in the pool. Tabitha was comp. The highlight of the day aside from everybody just being together and open presents, was Ginny opens her own presents, mm -hmm. right? So Ginny, you would put her present on the ground and it was amazing. She would tear the wrapping paper off, but she knew the wrapping paper wasn't the present. Right. She knew the present was inside. So she would tear all the wrapping paper off, get to the present, pull the present out, and then take that off and leave the paper on the ground. And then the funny part was, Tabitha would be like, sucker, you did all the work. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to go bring it under the table and put it into my den. She was not observing the rule of it's the first day and Jenny did not need to share that toy. <laughs> so we did, we had such an amazing Christmas. Like I said, we are going to get back into vlogging. Now I know you are all wondering... What was the present that I got for Rachel that I kept saying she's going to get upset and it didn't go as planned? So what I got for her was scuba diving lessons. I didn't and, and divorce him. She did not divorce me. I, I was joking with the divorce thing. I, it's probably not a word I should throw around. But, but it I was, knew you might be like, oh my gosh. I And I was, oh my gosh. Like, but oh it's no. more of you're scared. I'm very scared. So here's what I ended up doing. I, I went and I bought her a brand new professional mask, like a, an actual scuba diving mask, because we do love to snorkel. We and we're always like buying like the $5 ones at Walmart. Which lets water in constantly. And so the guy said that, listen, we're gonna take this one, this one might fit her, but when you're ready, you bring it back and we will make sure we get the one that's most comfortable for her, the one that it makes a really good seal. And then I got her a snorkel and I got her good scuba diving fins. And she opened up the fins and it was like, the whole point was- I knew was, it, the moment. I gave her the fins and she had three boxes. The fins, the snorkel, the You gave me the, the mask, mask first. Oh, I gave you the mask first. And as soon as she opened up the first box, she's like, I know what you got. I know what the present is. And then she was like, you know, she's just scared. It's not mad, she's scared. But what I did was, even though I am already a Patty certified diver, uh -huh. I did basically pay for me to retake the course 
because I knew that you wouldn't want to do it alone. And I went to a place where, uh, first of all, it was great because it was half price for Christmas. Which is nice. And so we basically paid for one course. And they do two lessons in the pool there at the shop and then two lessons in the beach. And it's he an said experience. We can, we can upgrade if we don't want to, like one of the beach ones, we can go to the beach one and then we can upgrade to go out on a boat for one of them. You just have to pay a couple, you have to pay the boat fee for the captain and stuff. But I'm excited because I know you are going to love it once you get in the water. We'll see. You're going to love it. I, I think that your, your whole idea of scuba diving was you have to go in caves and stuff. Right. I don't want to get in something like, I don't think that I would enjoy wreck diving. No. The thought of getting trapped in somewhere underwater is like a huge fear for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if maybe I share that fear with anyone. Um, but yeah, so I don't mind being on top of stuff and I don't want to be so far down deep that like I couldn't get up in a timely manner. But so. here's the thing. We live in Florida. Right. Where you have crystal clear water and you only That'll have help. to go like 20, 30 feet deep at most to really see some of the beauty that's underwater and you don't have to worry about coming up. So we're excited about that. We can do it at our own leisure. It's yeah. like over a course Take me back of to Rainbow Springs. five or six days. Well, actually the place that... I got it from a place in Fort Lauderdale called Pineapple Scuba. I will leave a link for them down below. Not affiliated with them at all, but they were so helpful over the phone because I, I they said that, listen, I haven't been diving in 20 years. Yeah. And so I, they have a refresher course. And he's like, well, you could do the refresher course and have her do the main one, but you're only going to be able to go on half the dives with her. And I'm like, I really wanted you to have me as that comfort. I really want that too. And so he, he just basically you know, charge me just a couple of dollars more for me to get the full one just so I can go through it with you. And diving has changed since the last time I dove because when I dove, there were no computers and all that. Everything was off of gauges and now you're gonna wear a computer on your wrist that says you have this much air left. That's and it's good. all integrated and then you can go home and it puts it right in your computer as your log. I so don't doubt that. You're gonna love it. I don't doubt that some of my fear goes back to heavy Rachel time where I always felt like no matter what I got into, I would be too big to get out of. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you're gonna you're gonna find something that's like just too small right. for the space. And I think I have spatial issues still. And at minimum even if you don't, but I know you're going to love it. I know that you've now got a professional mask and a professional fins and a professional I'll take snorkel. That. So when we go scuba diving, like when we go on the cruise, right, or snorkeling, when we go mean. snorkeling, I'll be you will have a good thing. When we go down to the Keys, but you know what? The whole idea is we're going on the keto cruise. Maybe you want to go scuba diving when we're on the keto, keto cruise and now you'll be completely certified and again, we live in an area where you can do it year round. I learned how to scuba Riddle dive. Riddle me New this, York. friend. You have not purchased an excursion to scuba dive, have you? No, I okay. haven't. You've All got. Right. We will eventually. We're just. But I have lots of friends that scuba dive and stuff. No, like I that. mean on the cruise. You have not. No, purchased. I have not. Okay, thank well, you. because I thought of. I thought of doing this after the the whole like you know black friday sales yeah. for 50% off okay. on excursions and things well, like that. Well because it's different of like we'll see what you like but if i purchased it like you're in it. So i like that you you really mean what you're saying right now. Yeah. But we it was just it was such a great day of family and it was a reminder for us that the holidays are about family. They're not about food. What does it say? The best things in life aren't things. Yeah. At all. So it, it was it was a great reminder for us. Now, if you went off of keto on Christmas, that's completely fine. Yeah. You know, but just for us moving forward, I think that even next year, we're going to be like, we don't need to have all that stuff because oh, we yeah, learned our different. lesson. It's not about the money. It's about... We gave them what we thought they wanted, not realizing what they wanted was everybody to just be together. Well, during Keto on the Couch, Anthony took Rachel's car up to the tire place because when I was driving it on Friday, I noticed it was shaking. So I figured, you know, there was a problem with the wheel balancing. So I asked him, take the car up, just have all the tires balanced because it probably needs it. Maybe she scraped against something or hit a curb or something like that. And it turns out one of the tires has a giant bubble in it. And then there's another one that has a gouge on the side. So we now need two new tires. Fortunately, when I bought the car last year, we bought tire and wheel protection. So it's 100% covered. 
The bad news is nobody has tires for her car in stock, so they're gonna have to order them. But to order them, they need a deposit, and we're not paying for it, it's paid for the warranty, so now we have to have them call the warranty company, get approval, order the tires. So instead of this just being like a couple of hour fix, it's gonna take a couple of days. But fortunately, we do have another car, and like she's okay to just like drive around the corner or something like that, but most of the stuff we can just stay at home or she can use my truck or use Anthony's car or something like that. But it's just another hassle. Leftovers nights. <laughs> One of my favorite nights. Leftovers after Christmas is like top shelf. So uh, we have leftovers. We had a little change of plans today. Rachel had to run out and run some unexpected errands and do some stuff today. So not much of a vlog day. So we're going to make this a two day vlog yeah. even though it wasn't going to be. So it is like a little bit after six. Here's what we're having. So we have the rest of the first tray of lasagna. There's still an it's entire so tray good. in the freezer. And the meat layer lasagna, it's always better the next day. As with all lasagna. Right. It's better the next day because all the juices kind of stiffen up and it's not as watery. Um, I thought we had a lot of brisket and it turns out the boys have been eating all the brisket. Well, are you really surprised? So this is the end of the brisket. So we each have like one slice of brisket and then there were three other slices that I chopped up. He did all the brisket, all the brisket in the Innova Precision oven in sous vide mode. So it didn't dry out. You no. can see it, it is nice, nice and, tender. and tender and moist still. And then I took the other three pieces, I chopped them up and I cook them inside of scrambled eggs because that's how I always like yeah. my corned beef hash. Like put inside of the eggs because I'm not a scrambled egg person unless there's stuff in it. I don't want just scrambled eggs. Otherwise, if I'm going to eat just plain eggs, I want them to be over easy. But if they're scrambled, there's got to be stuff in it like bacon, mm. almost like a, a scrambled up omelet. And then a couple of slices of bacon. And then Rachel's having the rest of the coffee from this morning. Thank you. You know what is really interesting? This the 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 turkey or lunch meat that you have added to this I use turkey is like a black label brand and it has that like black ring around the entire thing mm -hmm. and it actually adds to the thought that this is either eggplant or something else right, right. it kind of adds to the mystery that this is this is meat right. for real so uh, I went to try to get your car fixed I went to the post office too and I missed it you missed it. okay so we will we have I know we have like seven packages at the post office so we will pick them up first thing in the morning and then show them in the continuation of this vlog so i went and um tried to get your car fixed for the tire and um because we have a warranty he has to call for approval because they have to special order the tires it's never easy and right? so he's like in order to special order i'm supposed to put down a deposit but you're not paying for it so i have to get approval first he never called me back so if i don't hear from him by tomorrow i'm gonna call him first thing in the morning and otherwise we're gonna go to volkswagen because the warranty company's paying for it anyway i would never go to the dealer for a set of right. tires but if the warranty company is going to pay for it anyway let's go big might as well go there because he said they don't fix the rim you have a scrape on the rim which mm -hmm. is covered by the warranty so he said if we go to the dealer they can probably fix that otherwise we'll handle that is this another just time tire month for our family i don't is know that what that is the tires are getting so expensive they really are so um we're gonna eat i edited a vlog i've uploaded it i'm in the middle of previewing it so i think after we eat we may uh go ahead and premiere it and we're going to watch a movie, but I know before we watch a movie, you want to play a game on the Oculus with Caleb, since now we have two of them. And I bought a game you have got to try. You want to work out? It's called Beat Saber. Mm. And you have like lightsaber. Remember the old Guitar Hero where you had to press the buttons? Oh, it's drums. No, it's not drums. There's oh. these little cubes that come flying at you. Okay. And you have two lightsabers in your hand. And you've got to break the blocks with the lightsaber, but you're doing to the beat of music. And it's not just like hit the block and you have right. to hit it from a certain direction. Oh my so gosh. So sometimes you have to hit it from the side. Sometimes you have to hit it from the bottom and you have two different colors. So you have to use the right color with the right cube and sometimes they cross. So sometimes the blue is in this hand and the red is this in here, but the the red cube is on that side. So you have to kind of cross your hand. So you get a good workout I was and say, you have to duck and jump and move to the side. You need to make it fun for me. It Well, here's the thing is nobody was watching me do it. 
but I'd be interested to have a video of you moving because I'm sure I look like a complete fool because you're dancing in a way, right. but moving around. But it's a good way to get moving because for us, movement has to be fun. That's yeah, why does. we have our, or got a rower because they make it like a challenge with games. I don't want somebody yelling at me and, and no. I, I want you to make it a game. I, I want like you to it. make it fun for me. That's why I like lacrosse because... I'm active and I'm moving, but it's fun. I even like the Ergato setting where you can like see different places so that right. if I am rowing, I'm seeing all of this beautiful scenery, it makes it more fun for me. Mm -hmm. So we're going to finish eating. Maybe I'll get some footage of Rachel playing a game and we'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning. Breakfast kind of day. It is a breakfast day. Here's your coffee. That is the tiniest cup ever. Look at the size of this thing. It's a double shot espresso. Oh, okay. So that's... That's all you need. Does that say Joy Jolt? Huh? It's a Joy Jolt. I don't know. I got these cups on Amazon. How cute. It's amazing how much stuff is like sold out on Amazon right now. It looks like one of those Nespresso pods. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Right? I like the look of it. I do too. They seem to be kind of thin kind of glass. It looks like it's really hearty, but mm. they're very lightweight. Um, but wow. it was like eight bucks for four of them and they're stackable. And like That's our cute. mugs are already all over the place. So I kind of have them off to the side right over the coffee pot. That is so delicious. Literally one drop of liquid sucralose with a double shot of the, I think it's like ice leg row pot in there. Wow. That is crazy good. It? Yes. Mm. It's, I love Cuban coffee. It is so, so stinking I delicious. I've always liked espresso. I kind of like cappuccinos, but I really like that deep flavor of espresso. And unless you want to pull out like those nice espresso pots. If I had the expertise and the patience that Matreya has for making yes. coffee... I wouldn't use an espresso machine. Right. But I don't have the expertise. We lazy. I don't have the patience. You can see, I make the coffee by like scoop. Yep. Sometimes it's six. Sometimes it's eight. I, I lost count. Uh, I guess that's enough coffee. People it's... who know what they're doing probably cringe watching us oh, make coffee. Oh my gosh. Yes. The other day. That is my coffee over there too. Right? I did not. Yes. I did not feel like making like pulling out the measuring spoon because I was using bones coffee which is in the bag and the scoop the measuring spoon that I use it's a pain to get through that little gap mm -hmm. so I literally just poured the coffee into the basket and like mm. good enough like I guess that's enough I don't know if it was weak I, I mean <laughs> that's fine 
But this is really, really good. And we're out of beans, so right now we have to use ground coffee because we're completely out of beans. I don't have any, any coffee beans left. Lost my beans. Uh, so coffee today, no keto chow. We're doing breakfast instead. Yeah. Um, and we switch it up. People keep messaging us, can you please do a coffee video? It's in a lot of these vlogs, but we will do a dedicated video on how we make our coffee. But we do switch up our coffee a lot. Basically, three ingredients we use in our coffee. We use egg, we use butter, we use keto chow. Sometimes all three, sometimes one, sometimes two of them, a mixture. We generally never add sweetener to our coffee unless there's the sweetener that's within keto chow, but right. we don't add extra sweetener. For me, I find that uh, if I want a sweeter coffee, the keto chow adds plenty of sweetness to it. I do like... Now in this, it's different. I like the one drop of sucralose in here mm -hmm. because it reminds me more of the way Cuban coffee is served here. Right. The, oh. It sweetens. Except for like if you wanted the, the Cuban coffee that you get down right. in Miami, you'd it's, probably have to put about 10 drops exactly. because I mean, it is sugar. It is. So being far removed from those days. That is sweet for me. Then it is super sweet for me, which is good. And one drop of liquid sucralose is a teaspoon of sugar. Yeah. Because remember, it's it's what, 600 times sweeter than You're sugar. You're not missing out. <laughs> You're not missing out. So um, busy day as always. Yesterday was just a really weird day. We had an emergency come up, yeah. so um, we had to change things up. You have to go to the office. I do. I have to work on the new series on church. Um, I want to play a game on the Oculus with Caleb. Oh, I love that. I need to go to Home Depot or to Walmart rather and eat containers. My chicken soup keto chow container is like shattered. I dropped it. Yeah. And it shattered a big hole. So I literally put tape over it because I am not losing keto chow. We had to get through Christmas. So I need one of those and then I need another one for our egg white powder because the egg white powder is up on top of the refrigerator with the bags of the ones that I don't have enough containers for and I don't have enough room in my cabinets for any for other containers but I want to get um one of those plastic containers because one of these days like I'm not going to close the egg white powder all the way you know it and you know I'm going to knock coming. it off the refrigerator and again at 55 65 dollars Per bag. We're going to be crying for real, not just because we're missing out on whatever recipe that represents on the ground, but like that's money on the ground. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, you also need to find a bag for the Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. We've reused the box that it came in several years. And no, I don't think that you want that <laughs> espresso. Oh, okay. Good morning, Roscoe. Come dun, here. Dun. Let me help you down. Dun, dun. I don't want you to jump. You're yeah. old. You're getting old and he, hurting his legs. He was really hurting over Christmas. So yeah. I'm hoping that he'll make a bounce back. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we, we had to we throw out the box because the box we need had to take down like mice and, and, and um, palmetto bugs in it. So I need to find a storage bag or something for the Christmas tree. But before I eat, as it gets cold... I wanted to discuss something. We say all the time, the scale is the devil, the mirror is the liar. Yes. Right? And use your clothes to judge. Well, here's the thing. Last, I don't know why, for the last few days, I've been getting on the scale. Probably to be like, I wanted confirmation, you did pretty good for Christmas. Right. Right? Yeah. And the scale has been fine. Except, has it? Because the scale's been... Hold and steady, 192 to 193. Hold and steady. Before Christmas, during Christmas, after Christmas. We're now Tuesday after Christmas. Oh, it's Buffalo Wild Wings Day. I said we were going to make steak, and I got three gift cards for Buffalo Wild Wings Maybe, for Christmas. So it's probably I think we're going to do Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay. Steak. And then I don't have to cook. Um, but here's the thing. I put on a pair of shorts yesterday. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. But I felt like those shorts used to be looser Okay. in the waist. Now, maybe it's a different pair of shorts because I have a lot of pairs of shorts that all look the same. And that's why I like to throw out my fat shorts, right? right? But there's an instance where the scale may possibly be lying and even in your though, favor, in your but favor, not really in your right? favor. Because if the scale's been holding steady. You're like, okay, well. But my shorts are getting tighter. Who do you believe? 
Now what, so that's why we say use your clothes as the judge because there's this, because remember, fat, you know, is larger than muscle. So if you put on a pound of fat, that, that's not, or even a half a pound of fat, that's not going to reflect as much in the scale, but that half a pound of fat could really reflect when it comes to your clothes. And it's so interesting that you brought that up because I felt the same way. So all throughout Christmas, this whole time, I'm up one pound, which I'm completely satisfied with, especially when you look back at the 15 pounds I usually put on in the December month and then take into January where I have to get rid of that first 15 pounds. And you've gone up and down with that one pound. Sometimes it's, you've been yeah. even, so you're like fluctuating, it's, which the scale is going to fluctuate. Exactly. But I'm just like you. I have been, um, I've been pretty good. I had, I've had nuts. That's been the one thing that I've eaten Christmas day. And then yesterday I ate some peanuts. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was like my big treat to myself. Oh, and those chocolate balls that were really good. But I've eaten way more peanuts. I've had like two or three of those balls, but I've had like, you know, a container almost of peanuts. So I got on the scale and it's like still only, you know, half a pound up at this point. And you're thinking to yourself like, well, okay, I must be getting away with this mm -hmm. behavior. This is abnormal for me. I know I have a problem with nuts, but it looks like my addiction is still at a manageable level. Like I am a high functioning nutaholic, right? Like right now at this moment, I can eat nuts and also maintain a job. Like that, that is seriously where I'm at. So last night, I actually went to Joe and said, are you interested in any of these nuts in this container? There were and, no macadamia nuts. And he was like, no. And I was like, I'm sorry. I know that these were not cheap because they were like a mixed nuts and they did have cashews and things in them. I'm like, I'm throwing them away. Yeah. I'm throwing them out. The children are not interested. Caleb and Anthony are not interested in nuts. The people who are really nuts for nuts are me, my mom. And sometimes Joe. Right. Yeah. It, for me, it depends completely on the kind of nut that it is, like macadamia nuts. But, and I know somebody out there right now is typing down like, that is so wasteful. Listen, We're, in this time, in this day and age with, yeah. you know, the sea stuff going around, you can't take an open package of nuts and go give them to somebody. No, I can't. Okay. And... Is it is it a shame that we spent money on nuts and throwing them out? Yes, but I'd rather them go into somebody. It was a great comment on yesterday's video. I'd rather them go into that waste than into this waste. Oh, that is good. Right, that was yeah. a great comment from one of our subscribers yesterday. And like, I've got the thing with cheese. So, you know, and again, I, I felt the same way. Like, am I getting away with it because we've been eating more cheese? You know, we went 60 days pretty much without eating cheese, Four, 45 days with no cheese yeah. and then just a tiny bit of cheese for like since beef, butter, bacon and egg. But I bought a big hunk of mozzarella to make the lasagna because I didn't want the shredded cheese with the potato starch. I said, I'm going to shred my own cheese. But you had to buy a big giant block of it. Right. I'm in BJ's, of course, or Costco. Now, I've got a lot left. And I've been going in there and taking a slice off the end and eating a piece of pepperoni. Not horrible. Probably the equivalent of two, maybe three cheese sticks a day. But not your normal routine. Not my normal routine. And again, not a cheese as we talked about in the 10 things that you may possibly binge on. Not a cheese that's super rewarding. It's not right. even cheddar, right? It's mozzarella. It's, it, it doesn't bring a lot of flavor. Right. But it's there. Now add that in. If you go, okay, three cheese sticks, not so bad, Joe. You're right. Top that into, we've been eating lasagna every day since Christmas. Yeah. Right? So lasagna has mozzarella in it and it has ricotta in it. I mean, so you've got a lot of cheese. And so we had made a second lasagna, which I, my intention was to eat this week. And I think what I'm going to do is go into the freezer. Now that it's nice and frozen, cut it in half vacuum seal it mm -hmm. right and now i've got two servings we may or may not eat one of them this week and then the other one after beef butter and bacon egg because if i vacuum seal it it'll be completely fine if we wait until february 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the, cause I gotta get the block of cheese out of the refrigerator. Now I don't wanna throw it out. That cheese will freeze well. Yeah, it will. It actually shreds better if you freeze it. But I gotta get it, I gotta get it out of sight. Yeah. I've just got to get it out of sight. And so, you know what? It is what it is. Does every single, does my boss need to know that I have a trouble with these ingredients? Does all of my extended family need to know if I'm having trouble? No. I mean, we're very vulnerable because you guys are seeing us and we're sharing this with you in the hopes that, that you see it's okay to deal with your own food issues, but it's okay for us to have this conversation and come to the conclusion, I am not safe around this. I need to take measures where I am still the boss right. of the food. Yeah. You know, I think that's important. So Rachel went to the church to get a bunch of, you know, totes done for the new building. And I came up here to pick up our mail. We had a bunch of packages. We weren't able to get up here because they had like weird store hours for the holidays. And now I need to run into Publix to get red food coloring because, oh, I need a basket. Uh, because we got in John Paul and Michelle a Berkey for Christmas and they were having a problem um, setting it up. They kept failing the red dye test. So I came up to uh, get the red dye and I'm gonna see if I can get it going. A lot of times when you have the Berkey after you purge it, the problem comes from like doing uh, the seals. If you don't seal it just right, if you don't screw in the filter just right, it'll fail the red dye test. So we need more red food coloring. Here we go. Red. The instructions on all the Berkeys say never use anything except for red and you can't use gel. So I wanna make sure this is not a gel one. Nope, water, propylene glycol, so, and a bunch of coloring that I wouldn't wanna eat, but I'm willing to use this to filter out for the Berkey. So I got the food coloring, now I can go home and see if I can get their Berkey fixed. And if for some reason I can't get it to pass the red dye test, I'll call Berkey and they'll send us a new filter. While I was in Publix, I picked up two dozen happy eggs. I like these. Um, Sometimes we'll buy the Vital Farms. It's honestly, whichever one is on sale, these were on sale for $3.99 a dozen. So I picked up two dozen of those because even though we have six chickens all laying eggs, it's not enough. By the time we add eggs into our coffee and do eggs, you know, with, you know, breakfast or dinner or something like that, we just don't have enough eggs. So while we're waiting, we're having a little piece of a Maria Emmerich's protein sparing bread, the way we make it with one extra ingredient and uh, a little bit of the everything but the bagel seasoning and butter on top of it. I love it like that. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm sorry, you know, some of these, I'm sure they came before Christmas, but we weren't able to get there, and then they well, had weird hours. I was gonna and... say, a lot of things just didn't get delivered on time. Okay. That was necessary. It was definitely necessary. Ooh, another one. Oh my gosh, people hate that. <laughs> Not everybody. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. For Amazon, this is, doesn't say who it's from. Well, are you sure? No, it's from Amazon, amazon.com. So it doesn't say who it's from. So huh. let us know if this is from you. Yeah. And it's a card game. That's called Nuts. Nuts, a nut grabbing <laughs> Oh, wow. This is awesome. A nut grabbing card game against squirrels. Oh, my gosh. That is really good. I just want to make sure, make sure. Nope, it doesn't say anything. Nuts. How fun. I can't wait to um, play it. Worth one nut. Wow. I don't want to open them up yet. For somebody who has a trouble with nuts, is it nice that you have you are able to put it in its place? A the game, game of squirrels and their nuts. Squirrels, they love their nuts. They do anything to get their hands on nuts. That sounds like us. They sometimes mess with each other to get their hands on each other's nuts. In the end, for a squirrel, it really is all about the nuts. Wow. That's what this card game is about. Each player takes on the role of a squirrel in a park trying to gather the best nut. Naturally, you're going to want to stop other squirrels from getting their hands on your nuts. Boy, that's how I was on Christmas. Don't touch my nuts. Those are all for mommy. Okay, so put that off to the side. So, so if that's from you, please let you. us know down in the Thanks comments so section. Thanks so much for thinking of us. That's hilarious. Okay, we got a couple of, I'm assuming, Christmas cards. Don't acknowledge the person behind us or she will jump up here. She sure will. Oh, how cute. A Christmas card. 
Full yes. speed ahead for another great Christmas. You both have made this season so full of joy Aww. for me. Thank you for your videos. Love, Nancy Smith. Nancy, thank you so much. So this one, unfortunately, came just like this. Like someone opened it like to see what's opened. in so it. So I hope there's nothing in there. It's from Misty Edwards. Thank you, Misty. It's a beautiful oh, card. Oh, that's a gorgeous card. Love so amazing. With their ears, the shepherds heard the glorious proclamation the Savior was born. With their eyes, they looked upon the word who became flesh and dwelt among them. With their hearts, they rejoiced in the gift of God's amazing love. Wow. May your Christmas and your new year be filled with this amazing love. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Love the Edwards family. That is gorgeous. And it has my favorite color on it, glitter. This is gorgeous. I almost don't want to don't, take no, it Don't leave out. it in the protective cover because we can still read it through that. Is it just one piece? It's yeah. Like a, it's like a, a stiff swatch. It's so, so beautiful. Happy holidays with a snowman, but it's like 3D. Wow. It says created by Sue Balak, a.k.a. Fabric Pixie. Uh, oh. Wow. Thanks, Sue. And uh, Merry Christmas, Happy, Healthy, Blessed 2022, Sue Keto on. This is This is gorgeous. absolutely, I have never seen anything like this. I want this. you to put like a little hanger thing on this yes. and put this as a Christmas the ornament for the tree next year. What a great idea. This is amazing. Wow. What amazing craftsmanship. Thank you so much. There's another one. That is gorgeous. Aw. Okay. Hi, Joe and Rachel. Have a Here is a belated Christmas gift. It was my machine shop supervisor at uh, Ponter Music Box 20 years ago and thought you two may enjoy it. Custom oh, wow. Deluxe. Oh, Music Box Christmas Creations. Thank you. Very I nice. love Christmas songs. Very cool. Thank you. 20 different Christmas songs. Thank you so much. And look, you're on the cover, Joe. It's Santa. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Okay, we got one more here. You know what the, the worst part is? I picked up the mail. You know what? No. Uh. The worst part is I picked up the mail and I got home and there was a notice. There's more mail. You know so what? I, have to go get that I. Oh, how cute! What I was going to say about the Christmas music is I love Christmas music so much and it's like you have all the holiday songs on Spotify and then it was like December 26th, they just cut you off. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not quite done yet. So thank you for that. This is adorable. Look. And then obviously there's a present for Joe. This I is so I know there's so another cute. one in there. No, maybe not. No. Oh, it's salt and pepper shakers. Those but are, look, I love those. They're avocados. That is so stinking cute. Uh, I can't get the last one. Thank you so much for not being able to get the last one. Liquor, <gasps> spice, stash. I'm a caffeine oh. free. Oh, it's a tea. Oh, we have to make that for Joe. <laughs> you have to have that, right? Okay, let's see. Who is this from? How cute. There wasn't anything on the outside of the box. Now that you threw it? It's on the floor. Okay. I'm, so, I'm it sure it's in this card. Rachel and Joe, Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoy the salt and pepper shakers. Yay. I also have included one packet of my favorite licorice Yay. tea for you to try since Joe enjoys licorice so, so much. much. Okay, how, how cute is that little face you drew? Because that is exactly the emoji that you would, would do, right? Marie, Marie Campos. Thanks so much, Marie. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I okay, we're gonna wait for our wings and then eat dinner. It's Buffalo Wild Wings Day. We have a lot of Buffalo Wild Wings. What's your definition of a lot? 90. Okay, that's it. That's, yeah, that's in Webster's Dictionary. A lot means 90 wings. Why so many? So on our plate, we have 15. Okay, because I had a $60 e-gift card. Are you afraid of it? I have a tendency to delete e-gift cards, at which point the e-gift card is gone. Man. And so I, what's happening, I called and I ordered two 15 buy one get one so that would be 60 mm. and the guy goes okay it's 40 dollars." i'm like okay and then he goes hey i want to let you know that starting next week it's no longer buy one get one it's what? buy one get one half off why 
Why? So, I don't know. But I will say these wings are giant. Are they like the last hurrah or something? I don't know. So, then I was, I was in Publix when I called because I was like trying to coordinate the timing right. Right. And so then I started thinking like I have $60. It's a $40. This is what it's going to cost. It means I'm going to have $20 left in the gift card, which means I still may delete it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to buy. I'm going to spend the whole gift card. Just go for the we gusto. We can eat wings today. The kids can have wings if they want. We can eat wings tomorrow. Mm. We can eat wings on Thursday. We can eat wings on New Year's Eve. Are because, we going to be like, Oprah, you get a wing and you get a wing. Well, here's the thing is he actually, they actually undercooked it a little bit. When I first picked it up and I'm like, oh, they're not very crispy. And then I started thinking, that's a good thing. Yeah, because we always Because crisp them up. we always crisp them up and reheat them at home. The so seasoning now, tastes different. Do you when have a different you, seasoning? Yeah. I say, so now when you reheat them, they'll be perfect, which these are. Mm -hmm. So I got them completely naked. Then I came home, a stick of butter... A whole bunch of the Frank's Red Hot in yeah. the microwave, mix it all up, toss them in there, and then I dusted them with oh. pork and good, smoky jalapeno and cheese seasoning. Because there's a nice, like, cheesy kick yeah. to it. It tastes really good. How did everything go at church? Good. <laughs> it's weird. I mean, all you have to do is take a day or two off, and you feel like, where am I at? Right? Mm -hmm. It's it's almost like waking up from a really long nap. And it's good. You're glad you got the rest. But at the same time, you're automatically playing catch up. Which right. is it, which is always unnerving to me. It's almost easier to just stay in motion than to stop for a minute and then start back up again. I feel that way. It's It's been weird because we didn't vlog for two days. Yeah. Two, three days, actually. Christmas mm -hmm. Eve, Christmas Day, and then on Sunday. We it's didn't like, how vlog. do I start this camera? And I really didn't even edit any videos on any of those days. So then all of a sudden, come Monday, I'm like, okay, back in the grind. I'm like, I don't want to get back in the grind. Yeah, I don't right? know, like, even how to start. And I remember my dad, when, you know, he was alive, he would come down in here and visit me. And he was a PhD. He ran clinical laboratories. And he was the supervisor. Right. And he would call into work every day when he was down here on vacation. To stay on top of it. And I was sure. always like, what are you doing? You're on vacation. He's like, you don't understand. If I just let this go for a week or two weeks, the pile of work that I'm going to have when I get back home mm -hmm. will completely negate any pleasure that I had on vacation. Well, and for me... Even if there's no pile right. waiting for me, I'm thinking there's going to be a pile waiting for me. And right. so I feel like that takes the air out of your tires. Right. So Do you speak. get that way, like, when you go on trips? Because I know even for us, you know, we go away, but we're always sort of working because there's always, like, we're, oh, let's film this or film that. Or I'll be like, let me edit this little video if we're camping or something like that. Because it's, if I don't do it now, it's just going to be more work when I get home. Right. And I feel like if I do a little bit, it, it doesn't really take away from my trip too much as opposed to, yeah, I am I'm, I'm, guess I'm getting like my dad. Because then <laughs> when you get home, you're like, I wish I never went away because I have such a pile of work now. And then it makes me want to eat hmm. and like eat away my problems and things like that. Well, speaking of eating, let's eat these while they're hot. Yeah. So we're going to eat our dinner. I think we're going to end the vlog right here because we're going to pick right back up with vlogging. Got New Year's Eve coming soon. Uh, we're going to be doing a video on like what our January, what we're doing for the month of January. We've got some other videos to edit. So uh, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we order 90 chicken wings, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.